hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel journey with vijay kumar srivastava today we are going to study the topic contingent crop planning so let's proceed first understand what is contingent crop planning contingent crop planning refers to the plan which is on place in advance to mitigate the risk associated with crop production in adverse situations contingency plan can be defined as a plan aimed and executed for an outcome other than in usual or expected plan in other words it is frequently used for risk management when an exceptional risk in future is prevalent the contingent crop planning therefore is proposed to mitigate such situation through the choice of appropriate crop and varieties cropping systems or other necessary relevant farm practices to develop a contingency plan for an area a detailed study of the weather data rainfall data should be done first contingency planning is growing of a suitable crop in place of normally sown highly profitable crop of the region due to apparent weather conditions contingent crop planning is needed to minimize such adverse effects of abnormal rainfall behaviors and other factors associated with crop production now concept of contingent crop plan the concept is associated with apparent weather conditions or climate change which is affecting the agriculture production the changing climate is a major concern for agricultural productivity in general and food security in particular as per brahmanand et al 2013 this has also resulted in higher frequency of natural disasters like cyclones and as per changing weather pattern we must be well prepared for sustaining agriculture productivity and this necessitates the concept of contingency crop planning now objective of contingent crop plan contingent crop plan is a integral part of agriculture and the objective can be defined as to minimize reduction in overall agriculture production caused due to adverse climatic conditions by selecting appropriate crop varieties or alternative crops and production technologies in accordance to the temporal and special outbreak of monsoon components of contingent crop planning there are four major components which can be described as first one crop and varietal use management second is technologies for increasing crop production third one technologies for mitigating water stress and drought situations and fourth input supply management system so in this part according to the situation we have to change in sowing pattern or planting time of crops change in seed rates change in schedule of fertilizer usage use of sow duration varieties improved crop genotypes improved technologies and other best practices now to go in details about components of contingent crop planning first one is crop and varietal use management where crop planning is made and suggested under normal growing conditions second under delay in monsoon condition where the monsoon delay is anticipated for 2 to 12 weeks and our action plan to be formed accordingly third one is drought spell conditions fourth is if there is chances of early withdrawal of monsoon and fifth zone wise crops and varieties are recommended according to the conditions second component is technologies for increasing production where we have to use the recommended package of practices for each crop and transfer of technologies to the farmers which are best suited according to the situation and for the training of the farmers community we have to go for the demonstration extension works and there should be training works so it will result in the awareness regarding the following adoptive measures to mitigate the risks third component is technologies for mitigating water stress and drought situations under such situation we have to adopt early maturing varieties which will be need of shorter water irrigation period and 
because of early maturity we can mitigate the risk and we can escape the drought condition at the last stage of crop requirement second is addition of organic matter to the soil for improving the water holding capacity and retention capacity of the soil because of which the moisture will be available for longer period there should be selection of short duration varieties drought resistant and high yielding nature in such situations we have to use higher seed rate because if drought situations are there water stress conditions are there the optimum plant population will be desired so higher rate is recommended there should be use of bio fertilizer to increase the nutrient supply capacity to the crops and by application of potash we can induce the drought resistance and drought tolerance capacity to the crop potash can be sprayed at the rate of 2% solution and definitely it will result to handle the drought conditions fourth component is input supply management where we have to plan a food for mass production and distribution of early maturing varieties and we have should we have to plan for distribution in drought prone districts districts management practice should be adopted according to the conditions and accordingly there should be selection of crops and varieties we have to use the potable pumps for irrigation usage there should be distribution of pipes and we have to increase the farmer for use of micro irrigation equipments micro irrigation system which will reduce the demand of water requirement to the crop and crop can sustain for longer period and there should be promotion of different technologies like sri technology for rice cultivation and we have to go for a spray of diff different uh, sprays like potassium chloride solutions and other to handle and increase the capacity of the crop to withstand drought conditions and we have to recommend the precision farming for sugarcane and horticulture crops and garden land crops a strategic approaches in contingent crop planning there are various approaches which should be followed like first one is water management efficient rain water management acts as insurance for the crop during the rainfall deficit periods management techniques that increase infiltration and soil water storage and decrease the water losses by runoff evaporation evapotranspiration from crop fields so in such cases we have to go for inter row cropping or inter plot water harvesting or a strict water harvesting system we have to encourage the farmers to adopt all these practices second is crop row management when the crops depend on growing season rainfall narrow row spacing may help in quick coverage of soil surface thereby reducing evaporation losses from the soil high plant population may use more soil water during early stages and hence the crop may suffer from water stress during reproductive and grain filling stages consideration of depletion rate of soil water is more important when the crops are grown primarily on stored soil water under such situations wide rows and low plant populations are highly desirable third one is nutrient management studies have shown high returns from the applied nutrients in different agroclimatic situation through the quick establishment of crop canopy canopy consequent reduction in soil water losses better parsing of evapotranspiration and deeper root development for extracting stored moisture and nutrients at depth of the soil but the response to applied fertilizers varies with the soil type available water storage at seeding and seasonal rainfall during the growing season fourth one is selection of crop varieties in slightly wetted regions intercropping is the best choice in such a case a short duration and a long duration crop may be intercropped to make the best use of resources in addition to efficient resource use intercropping imparts stability to productivity and reduces the risk of crop failure fifth one is in season drought management in season drought is a potential stress 
for nearly all rainfed crops germination and crop establishment are the most sensitive periods when moisture stress can have devastating effect on crop production moisture stress during crop growth stages of high leaf area indices will show the greatest decrease in yield next one is choice of crops with changing sowing conditions late onset of monsoon often leads to delayed planting in specific crop contingency plans have been developed for different agroclimatic zones to address the issues like example beyond the third week of july sowing of pearl millet gives poor yields in the indian arid zones but legumes like cluster beans and knob moth beans give good yields in red soils of telangana region castor gives better yields than peas and pea under late sown conditions so we have to go for choices of crops and changing sowing conditions as per the requirement next one is supplemental irrigation giving an irrigation to stabilize and improve the yield of a crop which is otherwise dependent on rainwater is termed supplemental irrigation giving a supplemental irrigation during prolonged drought periods by using underground water even of poor quality or rainwater harvested in tanks can make all the difference between a total crop failure and good yields if the crops face drought at sensitive growth stages application of supplemental irrigation during this period is the best potential use of limited water supply now measures for contingent crop plan the measures have been categorized on the basis of seven parameters about which we will discuss here like first one is for inadequate and uneven distribution of rainfall conditions in such cases low rainfall and highly variable results in uncertain crop yields are resulting so besides uncertainty the distribution of rainfall during the crop period is also uneven sometimes we are receiving high amount of rainfall when it is not needed and sometimes there is lack of rainfall when it is badly needed so in such cases the measures to be followed like cultivation of low water requirement crops short duration crop because of which the crop will mature early and we can escape from the shortfall of water at the last stages of the crop and there should be provision for providing life saving irrigation in case of drastic shortfalls of irrigation second parameter like long gap in rainfall and in such cases the measures to be followed at a contingent planning is higher seed rate by increasing seed rate to obtain desired population even in dry spells where the long gap in rainfall is reported we have to go for a spraying of urea solution as a nutrient application in a seed of soil application there should be provision for providing life saving irrigation at critical growth stages when crop is passing through dry spell and there is shortage of irrigation water there should be weeding and intercultural operations to make crop healthy and avoid the losses of water now third one is early onset of monsoon in such cases we have to go for the crops which are getting early maturing and these crop are having the drought resistant drought tolerance capacity like growing pearl millet and sesame where the crop duration is short so the crop can escape the dry spells fourth parameter is measures for late onset of monsoon due to delay of monsoon if we are going for late sowings it will result in poor yields so in such cases as escaping measures we have to go for alternate crop and variety selection which can escape the early requirement of irrigation and we can go for planting of castor green gram cowpea and sunflower crops in such situation we have to go for dry sowing where the crop is sown in the dry field and after onset of monsoon the germination and crop growth will take place if we are having the little irrigation facilities so in such case we can go for pre sowing by managing with irrigation water and later 
while the onset of monsoon it will fulfill the irrigation requirement of the crop before sowing we have to go for seed soaking which will needed less soil moisture for germination and there will be early germination after seed soaking sowing then transplanting of one month old bajra seedlings when we are going for direct sowing of bajra to the fields we have to provide the irrigation so in such cases where we have anticipation of late onset of monsoon we can grow seedlings in a smaller area and it will be very easy to handle the crops with less water there should be complete weed control to avoid any competition with weeds and loss of moisture from the fields and the crops like legumes and oil seeds can be grown on the place of cereals which needed less water and there should be growing of sunflower which is most suitable crop when the onset of monsoon is delaying fifth parameter for contingent crop planning is early cessation of rains sometimes the rains may cease very early in the season exposing the crop to drought during the flowering and maturity stages when there is more demand of irrigation water for seed development and flowering and if there is reporting of shortfall of irrigation water then it will significantly make the reduction of crop yields so in such cases we have to follow the measures like selection of short duration varieties which may escape the problem of irrigation water shortage at during and maturity stages and crop can escape the risk after that we have to follow the mulching where we can conserve the moisture in the soil by which the crops can survive for the longer period there should be provision for life saving irrigation at the most critical stages and if such early cessation of rains are anticipated or reported then we can maintain the required plant population only by decreasing the plant population or discarding the some field area sixth parameter under prolonged dry spells long breaks in the rainy season are an important feature of indian monsoon these intervening dry spells when prolonged during crop period reduces crop growth and yields and when unduly prolonged crops fails so it measures if dry spell is prevailing for more than 10 days of sowing we have to go for re-sowing to maintain the desired plant population breaking of monsoon for short while shallow intercultivation for eradication of weeds soil mulching should be preferred wider spacing should be needed for moisture conservation there should be a spray of 2% urea if drought period is prevailing and this will be useful for intermediate crops like castor pigeon pea and groundnut if soil mulching is followed it will conserve the moisture and reduce evaporation losses we have to go for in situ water harvesting mechanism there should be life saving irrigation measures and there should be proper weed control to save water and nutrients through minimizing the competition seventh parameter for contingent crop planning is under early withdrawal of monsoon in such cases we have to go for harvesting at physiological maturity when crop has reached the maturity stage physical maturity is the indicator for the readiness of crop in such cases we have to go for early duration varieties short duration varieties and strategies adopted for mitigating dry spells during crop period so this presentation was all about contingent crop planning hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback thank you